One more from the Associated Press. Okay. Andrew Bridges again with AP. And looking there, outside the crater, are you seeing it and anything that might be chunked? When we, when we look hard at the outcrop from a distance with many tests, we don't see high concentrations of hematite. In fact, we don't really detect hematite in the outcrop. So the matrix itself does not appear to be hematite bearing. That does not rule out the possibility that the spherules have hematite in them. They could on the basis of the mini-test data. Um, we, can't, we simply cannot tell from mini tests. Uh, this video, which shows the familiar outcrop, uh, which we've named Opportunity Ledge after the, uh, the spacecraft that found it. And uh, so we're scanning to the right. And at the far right is this rock. And you can freeze it there for a minute. This is the thing uh, that was, we originally nicknamed this thing Snout. Uh, the, the, the nickname that we're using for it now is uh, Stone Mountain. What that is is a picture that's showing this outcrop now in detail for the first time. OK. But the reason we did it this way, this is a false color, color image that was generated using some of our infrared bands. And you can see it was just processed to really bring out those bright orange glowing dots within that garish blue outcrop. Those are the, the, the spherules, OK? And this simply emphasizes the point that they are different in color. And what you will see for the first time is a good microscopic image of this outcrop. This is wild looking stuff. Now what we're seeing here, again, you can see these finely layered materials. The, you can see the layers running from upper left towards the lower right. The individual layers are only millimeters thick. What we're seeing here, we believe, is a rock that is inherently very, very, very fine grained. <laughs> let's go on to uh, let's go on to Gusev and let's see. Okay, here we go. Now this is the rat. This is our old friend Adirondack. Let's see, uh, Mark Malone. Thank you, Steve. Very well. What you're seeing here is a pan cam image of the rock where the rat has ground a perfectly circular hole into it, about two and a half or three millimeters deep. Microscopic imager before we did anything at all with the rat that shows what it looks like, looked like after we brushed it off with the rat. And the next image shows what it looked like when we cut, it, cut away the surface. And what you're seeing there is a beautifully cut, almost polished rock surface. It looks very, very, very much like, in the image, a volcanic rock, a basalt. And uh, we're, we've had a very busy day. In the last day, we've had both rovers drive on the surface of Mars on opposite sides. But uh, this, this drive was also the first test on Mars of the rover's um, autonomous navigation system. So autonomous navigation just means the rover is in charge of how it drives. It is that the rover takes a look in front of it, and it figures out what the shape of the ground is, what the shape of the terrain is, and builds a map. And where the map is red, it doesn't want to go. Red means stop. Where the map is green, green means go. And yellow is, is still OK. Yellow, is, you want to be safe.